My favorite gift I've ever received is a flask. I think giving someone a flask is a nice way of saying, hey, you seem like a drunk on the go. <laughs> you strike me as needing hard liquor at all times. This would be good for you in your car. <laughs> Don't you love how we have different containers that we drink different alcohol out of? Like, you ever try and drink wine out of anything but a wine glass? You feel like a drunk. <laughs> hey, can you refill my Yahtzee shaker? <laughs> Hit the sippy cup too, will you, Donka? <laughs> so much formality with wine. Like that wine menu. Does anyone really know what they're looking at when they look at a wine menu? Because if you do, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I had three of these for breakfast. <laughs> I always make the mistake of asking for the waiter's suggestion. You know, so that wine would compliment your meal. Yeah, I'm going to go with a $5 bottle. <laughs> that compliments my wallet. <laughs> I am always asking the waiter's advice, which is odd, you know. It's like, hey, you don't know me, but what do you think I should eat? <laughs> is it time for a haircut? <laughs> it's up to you because you're a stranger. <laughs> and I'm weird. You ever have the waiter strongly recommend something? You feel kind of guilty not getting that. Like, yeah, I know you really want me to get that, but I'm just going to get what I want. Because I'm still paying, right, pushy? Don't you back off. But we should be nicer to the wait staff. Yeah. It's an odd relationship we have with the waiter. Occasionally the waiter will tell you their name. We never give ours. They're like, hey, how you doing? I'm your waiter. My name's Phil. Yeah, I'll have the chicken. Why don't you beat it? You never really use the name. You know, I'm out of water. Phil! Phil! Philly! I do feel uncomfortable when the waiter's doing the specials. That's, that's kind of a semi-conversation. I was like, our specials, we have a sea bass, which is broiled. I'm always like, uh... Am I supposed to say something? A uh, pass! I exert so much energy acting like I'm interested in this. Oh, that's a soup of the day? Oh my god. I'm not getting any of this crap. Here's a clue if it's that special, put it on the menu. Oh, that is so true. I do love going out to dinner. I always get the appetizer, because the appetizer's just an excuse for an extra meal. You know, like, let's see, I will start with the 80 buffalo wings. And do you have a locale blue cheese? Because I don't want to fill up too much. It would be embarrassing trying to explain what an appetizer is to someone from a starving country. Be like, yeah, the appetizer, that's food we eat before we have our food. Yeah. No, no, you're thinking of dessert. That's food we have to have our food. Yeah, we eat tons of food. Sometimes it's so much we just stick it in a bag, bring it home. You ever get the doggy bag? You're like, no, no, put this in a box, in a bag, and I'll bring it home and throw it out tomorrow. <laughs> that is so true. That's weird. Going out to dinner is a little weird. I mean, I enjoy bread in everyday life, but when I go out to dinner, suddenly I crave bread. <laughs> bread? They got bread here? Oh, we should have bread at home. We gotta get the recipe for bread. You ever eat the whole basket of bread? And you still want more? It's kind of awkward asking the waiter for seconds on bread. Yeah, can we have some more of that free bread? And can you cancel my entree? It's going to load up on the bread. Are there other free things here? I prefer the free stuff more. I am trying to lay off the carbs. I'm a vegetarian now. Anyone a vegetarian? Yeah, there you go. I'm not a strict vegetarian. I eat beef and pork. And chicken, but not fish, because that's disgusting. How can you tell when fish goes bad? It smells like fish either way. Well, this smells like a dumpster. Let's eat it. <laughs> no one really likes fish. They just won't admit it. They're like, I like fish just as long as it doesn't taste like fish. I got news for you. I don't think you like fish. I'm almost positive fish is supposed to taste like fish. 
Actually, you know what's really good on fish? Anything that kills the taste of fish. <laughs> How about relish in a gallon of mayo? That'll do the job. <laughs> what if we squeeze a lemon and wrap it in seaweed and cover it in soy sauce? <laughs> He's anti-fish. <laughs> and we're right next to Lake Michigan. <laughs> I am amazed that we're still serving fish with the heads on there. Don't you always feel like that eye is looking at you? Like, hey, you don't mind if I watch while you eat my body, do you? Uh, don't be distracted if a little tear comes out. You can just tell yourself it's butter. Oh, what if a fish was in the audience? That would be awkward for all of us. It could happen like Michigan's right there, buddy. The fish would laugh, but on the inside it'd be crying. You and your fish head joke. Obviously, some people prefer it like that. Y'all have the fish. Keep the head on there and uh, find out if it had a nickname. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> pig rose, you yeah. know. Pig rose, we always have that pig head sitting there, which is sad, because you can tell they killed the pig when it was eating an apple. <laughs> hey, pig, you want an apple? Sure, what are you doing with that spear? Ow! Mid-bite, every time. At least those animals aren't alive, you know? I was feeling uncomfortable when I go in a seafood restaurant. They have that lobster tank sitting there. All the lobsters are peering out like, Hey, what are you here for? <laughs> I'm here to eat you. <laughs> hey, all right. Hey, Harvey, this guy. Harvey? <laughs> oh, and Harvey was gone. Do you love animals? Well, I do, too. If you don't hit subscribe, all the animals will die. So it's up to you. Do it.